Welcome to this week's five minutes of revelation. And today in those five minutes, I want to ask you if you really believe that God is controlling every single area of your life. If you really believe that God is in complete control of everything that happens in your life, everything that happens in my life, everything that happens all around us. Do you believe that God is in complete control and controlling everything that is happening? See, because we often hear people say, well, everything that happens happens for a reason. Or God has a bigger purpose for all this. If something bad happens to you, well, God has a bigger purpose. That's why He let it happen. Or God is in complete control. And everything that happens, everything you do, God is controlling it. That all sounds good. But that's simply not the truth. And often the reason why bad things happen in people's lives is not because God has some kind of bigger purpose and that's exactly what He wanted to happen. No, the bad thing is not what God wanted for your life. But the reason why it is in your life is because people are often not aware that they have a far bigger place in those decisions and that they play a far greater role in what happens in their own lives. See, because God is not controlling everyone and everything that is happening around us. God is not controlling everything that you are doing. See, because you are free to choose. He gave you the free choice. You have to choose to let God in and you have to choose to follow God to go with God before He can do anything in your life. So when people say, well, God is controlling everything that's happening in this world. God is controlling everything that's happening in my life. It might be a nice excuse for some bad things that happened in your life, but it's simply not the truth. Because for God to do anything in your life, you would have to come to Him and you would have to yield to Him. You would have to follow Him. You would have to give Him access into your life. And unless you do that, He cannot do anything in your life. Last week, we already said that you choose between life and death and blessing and cursing, that the choice is yours. So when bad things happen in your life, you cannot just say, well, this must be God's will in some weird way. No, it was your choice, but you chose the wrong thing. You didn't choose life and you didn't choose blessing. And another thought I want to give you is that if God was really in complete control and if He could really do anything in this world that He would want to, wouldn't He just restore it to heaven right away? See, because heaven was God's original plan for you and for me and for all of mankind in the first place. That's what He really wants for us. So if He could do anything He wants, then that's the thing He would do. See, in Romans 8, 28 it says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to His purpose. That verse is often used to just say, well, everything that happens works out for a better reason, has a greater purpose behind it. But this clearly says that it's only for those that love God. For those that love God, those things work out for the best. And loving God doesn't just mean that you sit there and say, well, God, I love you. No, it means choosing Him. It means asking Him. It means listening to Him. It means following the direction that He's given you. And when you do those things, then everything you do will work out for your best. That means you're choosing life and you're choosing blessing. And then no bad thing can happen in your life because you are living in life and you are living in the blessing. And if something bad happens at some point because you weren't focused and you let the devil in at some point, don't start blaming that on God again. Realize that it's not God's will for your life and then you can go against it by faith and overcome that. So today I want to encourage you to not just put up with anything that is happening in your life and blaming it on God. Often it's easy to say, well, this bad thing, it must be God's will, so it's okay. Don't just put up with anything that happens in your life. Know that God's will for you is a blessing and that God's will for you is life. And anything that does not belong to blessing and anything that's in your life that does not belong to good life, know that it's not from God and know that you can go against that. Don't just put up with that. You have a choice to make. And when you choose God, you will step into the blessing. And that's why God put me here to encourage you with this 
today. Take this with you into the rest of your life. And don't just put up with anything that's happening in your life by blaming it on God. Make the choice. You have the choice to make and you decide whether you live in life or death. You decide whether you live in blessing or cursing. So take this with you. Be blessed by that. Don't forget to read your chapter a day and I will see you again next.